well, we finally got Star Wars. But is it the Star Wars we were hoping for? And is it the Star Wars we really wanted? You know, we all tuned in to Arcade 1-Up's announcement last night. And the last I looked, there was over a 1,000 people that were either watching or in the chat. There's excitement in the community. We all want good things for Arcade 1-Up and for all arcade companies for that matter. And, you know, I mean, I think it's fair to say that most of us felt that Star Wars was coming. You still have the MK4, like, you know, you know people are trying to promote that like they they want it but i i i think the concessions was we were going to get star wars and when they announced it you know everything that they said it's going to have a molded coin door but you know i think we all kind of expected maybe an xl maybe a wi-fi enabled online cabinet and the possibility of this of the star wars trilogy well, it turned out it's just it's the exact same cabinet with the molded coin door and the the skin goes further down so it kind of blends that riser and giving you that perspective of you know it's 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 one solid piece and you know i mean i i was on board with you know i, I don't have star wars and as you can see behind me that this these are going to kind of shake up here in the in the future and the next time you see a video in this room things are going to get shuffled around here. And my other plan was Star Wars would be against this back wall. I'm not saying that I'm not going to get Star Wars, but I'm not interested in pre-ordering, which Arcade 1-Up is sold out. You can go to Shop Pippo, but if you look on that date, it's got a 214, just as John D said. You know, Valentine's Day will be that, will be that next release. So obviously the 300 and some that we saw in that bill of lading were the 300 and some that Arcade 1-Up had their hands on that were selling last night. Now, I'm not interested in pre-ordering. I prefer to pick up from Best Buy. I did the, just the, the having to rush home on, an, on a delivery here. I just don't want it sitting out. It's just, you know, you get an Arcade 1-Up, you can clearly see, like, what that is. Like, they're, they're, no matter what Arcade 1-Up cabinet you get, it's identified on that box and it's just it always it always worries me and if i can pick up from best buy it's just a peace of mind and maybe it takes an extra day sometimes but it's just i don't have to rush out of work come home and just the fear of it not being on my doorstep going back to best buy when they showed those tickets in that canadian best buy you know, Best Buy is known to kind of jump the gun a little bit. They did this with Blitz, kind of like that Marvel versus Capcom 2 thing at Target. They announced that they had it a little bit early, and I think that's what happened here. And I think it's fair to say that, you know, in two weeks from now, we're going to see a lot of websites, a lot of, a lot of stores have stock in these, and we'll Whoever wants to get one is going to be able to get one. I mean, John D made it clear that there's 3,500, right? So, I mean, that's – so out of all the people that already have Star Wars, how many of those are going to get the same cabinet with, with a molded coin door? And the riser looks a little bit different. I mean, it's the same game. It's the same ROMs, the same PCB. I think it's safe to say that anyone who wants to get Star Wars can get it. Now – what bothered me yesterday, what, what, what could bum me out, was after they announced Star Wars, you know, I, I was like, you know, it's going to be more than $4.99. I just feel it. $5.99. And I think that's where the disappointment lies with me personally. It's just that's a lot of money for a cabinet that doesn't have online. And it's just like a re-release. It's the same thing. And not saying I'm not going to get it. I'm, I'm just... I'm, that's 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 my disappointment, and I think I think a lot of people are looking at cabinet should be four ninety nine, and and I, like across the board, unless we're talking Pro or XL, four ninety nine just seems like the fair going rate on a new cabinet that's going to come out, and and if there's sales and they come down, so be it, right? My concern though with Arcade One Up is. Where are the new titles? 
Is this, is, is this what we're going to see here? It's kind of strange that they're bringing back the same cabinet with the riser because it just looks to me like they're trying to move away from the risers. So 3,500, maybe even more than that. Is this just a way for them to build up some more money to go after something else? They've shown us the deluxe. They showed us the casino cade. Now Star Wars. What else? Where's the new releases? We know Time Crisis is going to happen. I just don't know if we're going to get anything else. It's just going to be the same old, right? We're going to go back to Mortal Kombat, Street Fighter 2, Ms. Pac-Man, Pac-Man, Class of 81, and, and, and Atari. This might be the trend for 23. This would be a good time for IRK to jump in and, and give us some a, a big surprise. Something's got to happen here. And the reason I'm like convinced we're safe on Time Crisis, it's a Namco game. And as you see, Ridge Racer is a Namco game. Pac-Man, Ms. Pac-Man. Obviously, they're tight with that license. They're tight with the Capcom, the Midway, and the Atari. Like These are safe bets for Arcade 1-Up. What else are we going to get? Are they taking the attention off of new releases by bringing us these deluxe cabinets, which I know a lot of us want. Riserless, they look more like a real arcade. But what's going to happen in summer and fall? Are we going to get anything new? It's just a concern. We'll see what happens. A lot of us just thought that maybe this Star Wars was going to be something bigger. I know the trilogy is like... like a leap, okay? I mean, maybe they don't have the right chip setting to do a, a game like that, like Daytona. But going, going to Daytona, I mean, will we see Daytona this year? I feel differently now than I did like two weeks ago. I was kind of more like upbeat on like new releases. I had this like theory like uh, Smash TV was going to be like the surprise cap. I, I don't know about that anymore. And... Are, are, are they going to redo? Are they going to do deluxe on every cabinet we already have? Like, this is going to be a telling year. We'll see what happens. But I wanted to do a special report. This is big news for Star Wars. But it just kind of like opens the door to like what if and what's next kind of things. And maybe somebody like, like At Games or IRK kind of jumps in and brings us a game that Arcade One Up's not making a cabinet out of. You know, and there's kind of a battle, and it'd be a good battle, right? Because it, it would make it a lot more competitive. But if you're interested in Star Wars, it looks like 214 is the street date, and stores should have them online. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you guys next time.